When a modular house is shipped, the factory does a lot of things to make sure that that house does not move or, or is very stable. So in the factory, the, they're going to glue the drywall to the studs. They're going to screw the wall assembly to the floor assembly. They're going to bolt walls together. They're going to screw walls together. They're going to install hurricane straps to attach the floor assembly to the wall assembly, the wall assembly to the ceiling assembly. They do everything to make sure that the, the house is not moving whatsoever during transport. So with modular construction, even though we do all of those things to avoid cracking, we're still going to see this. And usually keep in mind now, the factory is going to have it perfect when it leaves the factory. So there will be no drywall cracks. And I always tell people that the factory is really incented to make sure everything's perfect. So um, in the factory, it seems like you start seeing women at the end of the production process because the factories feel that the women are more detailed. So you'll go into the factory and you will see red tape all over. I've been in modules where it looks like a planetarium. And the factory is working really hard to make sure all the imperfections are found, all the drywall is taken care of so it's perfect when it leaves. Because I tell people it costs a dollar to fix it while it's in the factory, it costs $10 when it's in the yard, it costs $500 if they have to put two guys in a van to come to your site to fix it. The factory wants to do a quality job, but they also have financial incentives. They want to make sure they're doing it where it's the cheapest to fix it, which is at the factory. Having said that, now we have to still put your home on a big carrier. We have to deliver it to your site. It's going to go over the highway system, bridges, up and down mountains, around curves. It's going to get lifted by a crane and has to get set on your foundation. Going through all of that, your house has been built as tough as it possibly can be, tougher than any site-built house you could imagine. But when it gets set on your foundation, there's going to be some cracks. Incidental cracks are perfectly acceptable within modular construction and builders are expected or the homeowners are expected to fix those cracks if they're acting as their home, the owner builder. And an incidental crack is typically what you would see in a settlement crack on a site built house. You're going to typically see a small spider web crack above a, a door or a window. It might be on an opening where, where that, that happens, but those are expected. Now if you see a half inch crack open up and it goes through a ceiling, that's not considered incidental cracking. That would be considered a factory defect and they will cover that under their service and their warranty terms. But uh, incidental cracking, you on, a, on an average module, you might see six to 12 incidental cracks in, per module in a house set. So with two modules, you might have a dozen or so cracks to fix, but that's considered part of the builder's job to do and it's not a factory responsibility to take care of.